Good morning, good morning, happy Monday, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good day. This is Rev Petty, Rev Maurice Petty of West Coast Rise Ministries. This message is to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. To the Honorable Louis Minister Farrakhan. I'm a new pastor, a new reverend, a new minister, a new apostle, a new prophet. I'm not new, but I'm just now being called and I'm answering the call. So I wanted to share some message with you as I move on along in this ministry. I was praying and today the Lord revealed some things to me from the book of Revelations chapter 2. And this is a letter to the seven churches. This is the book of Revelation. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm sharing this message to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, to the minister, because I've been hearing you preach a lot lately about God, about Jesus, and about scriptures from the Bible. And I really haven't heard you preaching from the Quran. This touches my heart, and it makes me feel good, because I noticed, minister, that your uh, message has changed. And I noticed that you've been preaching a lot from the Bible lately. So I acknowledge you that. I acknowledge that I acknowledge you for that and I affirm you for that and I thank you for that because there's a lot of uh, black African Americans um, are people who follow Christ and they're Baptists, they're Protestants, they're um, Calvinists, they're from various doctrines and religions and religious sects and organizations. And this word of the Lord I wanted to share with you because you have a big major impact and an influence on the black community. However, I feel like we need to change it. Things need to change. Something needs to change. And I'm going to read it from the word of the word of the Lord, the loveless church. This is a letter to the churches, to the church of Ephesus, but I'm reading it to you as if this was a letter to your church, to the nation of Islam. With all due respect to the nation of Islam, to all of the leaders, to Minister Farrakhan, to all of your followers, uh, there is one true God, the Alpha and the Omega, and that's God. And there is one Savior, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who God sent to die on the cross for our, for our sins. And I don't want to get caught up in color and race, and religion and nationality when it comes to our Savior. We're not going to put a color on them right now. We're just going to get straight into this word. We're not going to put a nationality. We're not going to put a heritage. We're not going to put any of that on our on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, Minister Farrakhan, with all due respect, sir, I pray that this message reaches you well and that it confirms and admonishes your heart because you know what you've been called to the letter to the, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write to the letter, to the angel, Minister Farrakhan of the church of the nation of Islam. These things says, he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands, verse two. I know your works, Minister Farrakhan. I know your labor, the, the Lord is saying, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil, Minister Farrakhan. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not and have found them liars, Minister Farrakhan. And Minister Farrakhan, you have persevered, the Lord is telling you, and you have had patience and you have labored for the Lord's name's sake and have not become weary. Yes, Minister Farrakhan, you haven't become weary. You're still here. You're still standing firm on a strong foundation. And the Lord used that. For a reason. He, he used it for a plan and a purpose. And there's a reason why you've been preaching the word of God even more lately, more than I have ever heard in any of your sermons, in any of your teachings. And the Lord says here in verse four, nevertheless, I have this against you, Minister Farrakhan, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, in verse five, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Now, I'm admonishing you for the first time ever with all due respect and love, Minister Farrakhan, that you are to remember where you have fallen, okay? Remember from where you have fallen. We all love Elijah Muhammad. The praise, 
Praise, blessed be his name. Praise be, praise be to God for Elijah, Muhammad, and all of the leaders. Thank you for what you have done in the black community. Thank you for building up strong men in the nation of Islam. But now it's time to convert them back to Christ. And they will follow you. They will lead you because you have the wisdom, knowledge, and the understanding. And the Lord is telling you to remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. When I say, when the word says where you have fallen is when you became a, a Muslim and you started, uh, when you converted to the nation of Islam. Remember that. Remember what happened before that, who you were and where you came from. I don't really know your history, your story, Minister Farrakhan. But this is the word of the Lord and I'm sharing it with you. And the Lord says, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place. Unless you repent. What is your lampstand? That is your followers, your, your congregation, your leadership, your influence. That's your lamp lampstand. It shines light, your light to the world. The Lord will remove it unless you repent. OK, unless you repent. But this you have. The Lord is saying in verse six that you have above any other apostle, any other any of these other mega churches, Minister Farrakhan, any of these other church leaders in our from the local to TVN to Daystar. This is what you have, Minister Farrakhan, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Who is the Nicolaitans? Whoever that you the people that you have been preaching against the evil that you have been preaching against and teaching against the, for all these years. That is the Nicolaitans who the Lord also hates. He who has an ear, the Lord wraps it up in verse seven. He says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Okay. So this is what it is, Minister Farrakhan. You, I, want, I would like for you to read it yourself, Minister Farrakhan. This is not a game. This is not a gimmick. I come to you with all due respect and humility and love. With love, I come in power and authority of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen.